I'm going to simulate mass and gravity. One day, Newton was like, whoa, force equals mass times acceleration, and it changed the world forever. So from there, it's pretty easy to say that acceleration equals force over mass, so we can just sum the acceleration from all of the other planets acting on this planet every frame and add it to the velocity. Okay, but we still need a value for force. Some other guy who also happens to be Newton found out that this is true. Force is equal to big G times the two masses, all divided by the square of their distance. And now we need big G. But don't worry, big G is a universal constant. 71 years after Newton's death, yet a third unrelated guy named Henry Cavendish discovered the value for big G, or the gravitational constant, after telling some physicists that their lives must be terrible since everything in physics had already been discovered. And then those physicists were like, nah ah, what about big G? And Henry said, what about big G? And then devised the first ever experiment to find the value of big G just to flex on him before never doing physics again. And if that story turns out to be wrong, you can blame my high school physics teacher because I certainly never fact-checked anything he said. After substituting our new formula for F, we end up with this final equation. And you'll notice something very interesting here, mass 2 goes away. And that actually might make sense to you, because you may remember a famous thought experiment by Galileo in which he posited that dropping a feather and a bowling ball from the same height would lead to them landing at the same time. Oh yeah, I should probably mention what's going on. I'm just randomly placing planets with random mass. The next step is to make them collide with each other, and then they get bigger and combine their masses. That's not right. No, oh, whoa! Why is it getting so big? Shut up, that's not what she said. We might get to see a stable orbit just randomly arise from all of this. And we've got two almost invisible, like, single pixel planets. Probably if your quality isn't high enough when you're watching this video, you won't even see them. No way! It actually came back? This is the greatest moment in the history of the universe. At least this universe.